guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to Creative Glam. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Today I'm participating in a challenge and this challenge is called The Look for Less and is being co-hosted by Yami of the Latina Next Door and her co-host this month is Natalie with Designs to the Nines. I will link both of their channels down below in the description box. If you've never seen their channels, click the link down in the description box and check them out. I'm sure you'll like what you see. This is an ongoing challenge that Yami has held for quite some time, for several years now, and I must admit it is one of my favorites. The details are that we are to find a high-end home decor item and recreate it for less. The look for less. I was looking online and I ran across a Z Gallery website and I saw this faux orchid potted plant with succulents that I thought was absolutely beautiful and I knew that I could recreate it for less. So I went to Michael's and everything that I'm using here today comes from Michael's. The stems were $9.99 but I had, uh, I had coupons for 50% off so I had two stems and they were $5 each. The uh, moss is something that I already had. And I paid $10 for the vase. The succulents were something that I already had. Unfortunately, Michaels did not have white orchids. So I got the large stems that I came as close to the orchids as I could possibly find. Unfortunately, they always carry orchids, but for some reason that day they didn't have them. I had to use what they had available. So I cut the moss, it is a thick type of moss, and I had to cut it into a circle. I just used the vase to trace it out, and I cut uh, the piece that I needed, and I placed that into the bottom. I gotta clean up a little bit because that moss is so messy. Now I'm gonna trim all my succulents down to the size that I need. Place them in there based upon how the picture had the succulents. And then I'll trim down the big stems, the uh, my floral stems, to the size that I need as well. This is a super easy project and it's really beautiful. Um, when I get a chance, when I run across the white orchids, I may in fact switch the flowers out. But for right now, this is gonna be my look for less.
And here's where I'm placing the stems and just rearranging them to get them to the order that I liked. The moss at the bottom, because it's so dense and thick, it really holds those stems very well. I added a, a pop of color. I could have used all green succulents, but I really didn't want to. I wanted this to take me not only through winter, but up and through spring. So I wanted pops of color in mine, uh, which deviates just a little bit, but that's what makes it one of a kind. And that's a wrap guys. We're all done. I love the way that it turned out. I hope you enjoyed my look for less Z gallery inspired faux orchid with succulents. I think I came pretty close. I understand I didn't have the orchids, but I still think I came pretty close. Leave me a comment. What do you think? I'd like to thank Yami of the Latina next door and Natalie of Natalie designs to the nines for allowing me to participate in this collaboration. As I said, it's one of my favorites. For all my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you and I appreciate your support. And for all my new subscribers, welcome and thanks for subscribing to the Creative Glam team. I appreciate you and I appreciate your support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you leave me a comment. Make sure you come back and tune in. I upload new videos every week and check out my playlist. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. And at the end of this video, you'll see a couple video links. Click one of those links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!